All right, hey everybody, how's it going? It is Friday here in San Marco. We're gonna do a walkthrough on our listing at Cedar Drive, or Cedar Street, excuse me. Um, wanna just give you a, a final presentation of it before it's uh, our open house tomorrow, which you're welcome to come by and take a look at uh, then from 11 to two. Um, we did a few videos previously about the, the house while we were you know, beginning the project during the renovations. So I just figured I'd give you a little uh, walkthrough of it while we're done here. Um, Again, tomorrow uh, from 11 to 2, we'll have an open house if you guys can't make it. Obviously, you can look through this video. We also have a 3D tour that you can view. Uh, we have that on Facebook, and we can always email that out to you if you just want to, from your desktop, look through the house. So uh, let's go take a look through, and I'll uh, talk about some stuff while we do that. So this, uh, this one, we tried a few design ideas out that we don't normally do on our renovations. Uh, for starters, the front door. We normally don't go with a, a unique blue like that. We thought it was uh, appropriate for the neighborhood, and we really liked it. Um, as, as you know, we've you know painted the exterior. We have all new windows. It's got a brand new roof. So that's pretty s similar stuff to what we're used to. Uh, we went with the gray, the gray look, which is you know common in the area, and it's just what we're doing on most of our houses. A little basic landscape in the front. Uh, put in a, uh, a nice driveway here fence was pre-existing let's go take a look inside so whenever I have a house with wood floors I always try to refinish them uh, there have been times where we started carpeting over them in Arlington and, and a few other neighborhoods but these are all pine original to the house uh, you can see there's a few uh, areas that have been patched with the previous owners and there were some areas that, uh, if you'd seen the videos we had uh, earlier, we had to uh, replace. And we've got all original wood floors downstairs for the most part. Um, and upstairs we had some new pine purchased, but um, it is all, you know, the original type flooring. So uh, obviously we did a paint job in the inside. Refinished the wood floors. our living area here is a half bath that they had pre-existing we just kind of updated it um, tiled the walls penny tile on the floor you'll see all the doors have these uh, these pretty nice glass doorknobs so good use of space it's a three bedroom two and a half bath originally it was really a two bedroom one and a half so uh, we were able to add an extra bedroom and bathroom which will look at here in a minute so our dining area the kitchen was reconstructed a little bit as well um, it really wasn't a plan to tile all the walls but our, uh, our tile guy got a little carried away and it turned out pretty nice we've got some nice uh, beveled edged subway tile in the kitchen so all the walls are tiled We've got our white shaker cabinets. We went with the uh, the gold knobs. I think they turn out pretty well in here. The um, you can see there's there's always little leftover stuff not finished. These uh, granite guys did not install their uh, their bracket there. They're coming by today to do that. Got the nice apron sink in here. Of course, granite countertops. Now we also uh, have been starting to throw some glass cabinets in, uh, in, in just a few of them. We know we don't want them all to be see-through. But then we threw lights at the top of this one also. And what I thought was pretty cool is you can like change the colors of them. I've heard some people say it's kind of weird, but you can leave it white if you want. So this one's got a really big laundry area. This whole room that we're in right now used to go clearly across the house um, to the other side. So we ended up closing that off and making that the third bedroom. But really big area in here for a laundry, washer dryer connection here. You've got a brand new water heater. And then, uh, you know, you can install a nice, you know, about 50, 60 inches there of uh, a folding table if you want to install one. So yeah, all the doorknobs throughout the house are those nice crystal knobs. This one didn't have original floor, wood floors back here, so we went ahead and put carpet 
It's a little upgraded carpet in there. Perfect for, you know, an office space to get away from upstairs or a guest suite. The house came with these stained glass here and upstairs. Really cool features that we left. And you'll see as we walk up here, of course, we had a little plumbing uh, repair due to the uh, permitting. So that kind of sucks. But we're having the guys come back today, patch and paint that, and then we'll be cleared away. So we'll start with the hall bath. Tried out some new tile, which we thought turned out pretty nice in the upstairs bathrooms. We went up to the ceiling with the uh, subway tile in here as well. Pretty simple standard bathroom for the hall. There's our second bedroom. Lots of space in here. Now it actually has, I'm not going to go up there, but it's got an attic space that is, you know, the span of this entire house. And uh, it's got enough room to where you could convert that into additional living space. Some people have done that. You can make it a fourth bedroom or a den type area. Pretty neat. So here we are in the master bedroom. We went in with the barn style door. Same concept in the on the tile surround. Same floor tile as we did in the hall bath. Um, in previous photos, we did not have this glass since this was just installed yesterday, I believe. So, a nice stand-up shower here. The glass is round. And this room was originally a, uh, they were calling it a third bedroom, but it had no closet. It was just a really big closet accessed from the hall. So, we ended up changing it around and making that the master bath. Originally, both bedrooms up here just shared a hall bath. So, well, that's it. Um, again, we'd love to see you guys out here tomorrow. We'll have some goodies here uh, from 11 to 2. Stop by and say hi to us. It gets lonely at times when no one shows up, so please come by and see us. And uh, if you know anyone looking to buy or sell in the area, please give me a call. Would love to help you guys out. Uh, my number is 904 993 1346. Of course, you can always Facebook message or uh, personal message me. Talk to you next time.